Hi guys, today I had a really bad day and in all honesty I had a really shitty week because I was sick. I'm, I'm at the end of the curation but I had a very bad cough and I still can cough so this video can actually be like cut in some places where it shouldn't be. <coughs> but yeah, tough luck man, like today is probably the worst day in, in this year and I tweaked one too many files in Dying Light 2's like Data Zero pack and for some reason it broke my save. I just like enabled some reflections that was like interesting for me that in the Valley's performance you had this like render reflections and like simple shadows so I enabled it. I opened the game and it was like I don't know what was happening with like icons and everything, it was switched, right? But I, I was able to run around and the reflections were different. But when I went back to original Data Zero Pack, my save got sort of corrupted. And I have my entire progress, I have my weapons, I have my outfits, I have basically everything. But I, I'm stuck at the beginning of the game. like. This one small change reset my entire progress and it's like I never did a main story. And whenever I press New Game Plus, I just respawn and f fall into the floor. So it's like I can't do anything at this point. It's probably a lost save. I messaged Techland to actually make something out of it maybe they have like as i don't know a database and honestly i'm mad at myself because i i knew that i shouldn't tinker with that pack i should at least make one backup and i honestly got so mad at myself for that so at the same time because like the save is probably over i have to start a new game and because i have to start a new game basically like entire 1000 hours of progress is lost at this point and I honestly try to not care that much because all I care in this game is like parkour and delivering good content right and I finished the game once I like made everything and I don't basically care that much but that also means that I lost all the outfits on the like save file I lost probably all of the DLCs that I paid for because they're all like um, pinned to this one particular save file so probably I lost like as I said 1000 hours long of grinding so that's from like the game perspective and honestly I, the mod is like in the best place possible so you know I upload the mode anyway and you can play it because honestly I've been playing with it for a while now and it's like the most finished the most finished product it has been since like launch for of like best parkour mode like 1.0 and from more of the personal stuff I just found out that the girl that I liked have a has a boyfriend and like I honestly don't know <laughs> what's up with that because honestly it's not the first time that a girl that I like has a boyfriend and it's not like the case you know that I talk to her and she's like oh I have a boyfriend no it's like I talked to her for like three weeks something like that and I just found out right and honestly it's weird for me because I was getting like chooser signals she was literally like staring at me and pausing mid-sentence while talking to me so I thought like hey maybe maybe it's worth to shoot a shot right so I just found out that you know you can never be certain you can actually never be certain so I'm honestly like kind of devastated I'm in a state where I'm in kind of like a denial where I'm denying that I lost 1000 hours of progress, I'm denying that a girl that I like, it probably should like me back too, has a boyfriend, whatever. I'm in such a denial and I'm talking to you with a smile right now. And I just can't fathom 
how shitty my situation right now is. And I have to learn to pass exams. So I basically don't have time to play Dying Light 2 right now. But I have to, to continue making videos about it, right? So probably I'll see you in like a week because, sorry, as I said, I have to basically finish my exams. I have to like learn and study and everything and basically be there. And at the same time, I'm struggling with this like Dying Light 2 thing because honestly, Dying Light 2 is like the only thing that keeps me sane because every time I just come back from school or from anywhere else, I just, I'm happy to just be in, in the house and basically play Dying Light 2, like eat something, drink something, whatever, and basically play the game. And honestly, since like the creation of the mod, I've been playing this game much more than I should because honestly, it's like I've been playing different, totally different game from the beginning. And right now, because of the mod, it's, it feels like I'm playing totally different game. And in my personal opinion, a better game, parkour, better parkour game, of course, because like combat is not that much changed, although it has some like some new features with the mod. But yeah, it feels like totally different game. And honestly, to add like assault to the injury, it's like I bought, I grinded the bounties before like the entire safe thing. I grinded the bounties and I bought like the outfit from the, what was it called? Pilgrim site, something like that. I don't remember. I, I, I rarely go there, but I bought this outfit because it has cool coloristics. And honestly, it's like, I used it. I went into the game, I used it. And I was like, okay, fine. That's a cool new outfit. I, I can't wait till I use it in my video. And then when I like, left the game and re-entered after some time it was gone and I messaged Techland and right now it doesn't matter if they give it to me back because the save is gone too so I totally fucked up and I should have taken a hint today with this like outfit situation I should have taken the hint like don't take her with everything anything just I don't know lay in fucking bad or something just wait it out just wait the entire day out but i couldn't i just couldn't and now i rip the fruits i guess and there are no fruits there are only losses in this situation so in one day basically <laughs> i don't know not my entire life because you know i can still like manage with this like dying like two content i guess but in one day everything went to shit So a lesson for you from this video is to basically always do a backup saves and as well as in personal stuff and as well as in gaming stuff because you know if I kept a backup guild or something that I was talking to maybe I, I wouldn't be like in such <laughs> denying state or whatever it's called I don't even know I don't even know how I feel right now whatever it doesn't matter but as I said, if I had a backup save, I would probably be playing Dying Light 2 right now and not be bothered that much because, you know, whatever. But yeah, that's... <laughs> that was my day for today and I hope yours is much better and I hope the next week will actually like solve some issues and will be actually kind of better because, as I said, Everything was sh just shitty. So, see you later, probably in next week, because I have to basically fix this entire thing. I hope, I just hope they have like special backup save for me, where they, you know, keep it in like a vault so I can have it or something. I don't know, but I'm, I'm devastated right now. So, see ya.